Carol Danvers, prodigal child of the Milky Way. Nick Fury. My favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. How goes it out there? Uh, you know, cold, no air, space. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. our light-based powers. So we switch places whenever we use them. Strong theory. You can absorb light. I can see it. And Kamala. Who's Kamala? Hi. She can turn light into physical matter, which I have never heard of. I could totally show you. No! Targeting every planet we call home. I would never choose to bring anybody into this. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. Oh my god, we're a team. Higher. Further. Faster. Can you? I got it. The prophecy tells of a duel between the two dragons of a shared crystal. We must join together to prevent the schemes of evil men. Eric Reed, there is so much you don't know. All that matters is that you are now a white dragon. The spirit you fight is still strong within you. You took everything from me! You can't change the past. You have to let it go. No! All you can do is show up now. Well... Let's see what we're working with. Where is Eric Reed? started. They protected me. Took better care of me than humans would have. They're not people, Maya. It's just programming. Ten years ago today, the artificial intelligence created to protect us detonated a nuclear warhead in Los Angeles. This is a fight for our very existence. Sergeant Taylor, we are this close to winning the war. But the AI are developing a super weapon. Retrieve it. Or they win. Did you locate the weapon? Yeah, it's just a kid. No. You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. So, we're the same. We can't go to heaven because you're not good. 
And I'm not a person. Do you have any idea what that thing is? She looks like a little girl now, but she's growing. Whoever has that kid wins the war. Who said you want, huh? What do you want, sweetie? For robots to be free. Oh, we don't have that in the fridge. How about ice cream? <laughs> Next door. I'm Madeline. This is my husband. We just got married. Oh my god, that's great. I love this house. It is so gorgeous. Some really good energy. Do you think it's haunted? knows everything about these old houses. They called it the house from Angel's Flight. Do you know Rebecca? She was the mistress. She committed suicide. Call 911. Tried to keep it from you to protect you. They found the remains in the garbage incinerator. We're asking the neighbors if they've seen her. I'm not very good with temptation. He had a stalker. I think she might be back. Are you all right? They have to tell you if bad things happen. What is this? Lie to us. I can't live like this. We are leaving this house. Houses are not haunted. She doesn't want us to be together. <laughs> Why are you running? I tried to stop her. I'll never leave you. People don't have to exist to be real. Pain is real. Secrets are real. They grew inside of me. When they come out, they eat you alive. I've ruined my life. I am your life. Kevin, Molly, hi. I didn't come over here honestly expecting a date, but you know, I feel like that's where this is going. So the idea is what we have some fun and maybe we kiss. Hopefully. Fifth day, we are really a part of each other's lives. It's a real thing now. You know, there's the bad thing that happens. Wait, I'm not home. What bad thing? Nice to finally meet you, Kevin. I'm the benefactor. Where's the accident? What happened? There was no accident here. Where did everybody go? They didn't go anywhere. You did. There are countless other realities. Imagine everything you have ever wanted. A thousand versions of you in a thousand different worlds all working for me. Where's my wife? I shifted her. I can't do this all by myself. I think the truth is that you're a liar. Your goal is misery. I prefer the term chaos. I've seen a bunch of people like us out there looking for a little hope. 
still trying to find that wife of yours. You're clinging scraps of rumors. I'll find my mom. I don't think the benefactor's gonna shift you back to your wife because you asked nicely. I won't ask nicely. I will find a way. Does that sound like something either one of us wants to endure? Alice, engaging with trolls is like the worst possible use of your energy. Me and my internet friends, we be slipping. Since you joined BuzzFeed, your art got super lame. <laughs> and you die in a fire. Don't judge me. Sometimes you gotta troll the trolls. Why is she rolled up in my bitches? Wow. find out who this handle belongs to? You really think a weird account is haunting your apartment? <gasps> Dear David, he was only 10 when his mother went insane. Linda, it's Dr. Landers. This is not my son! He is your son, and you put him in a coma? <laughs> oh my god. Dr. Landers? Doctor or something. I dare you to jump in the pool. Don't worry, there's no one here. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What kind of doctor did you say he is? It's okay. Closer. I won't hurt you. Wait, we can't be locked in here. Something is seriously wrong. It's coming for us. Hercule Poirot, I've found something. I've looked at it from every which way. I am the smartest person I ever met, and I can't figure it out, so I came to the second. You are up to something, my friend. I've seen a million of these so-called psychics, each one a fake. I do not believe in psychics. Come with me to a seance. Spot the con I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me. But I can talk to the dead. I'll give 
said all I have to hear. My daughter's voice. If someone wants to be heard, we are here. Listening. until I know who did it. A ghost killed her. There must be a rational answer for all of this. Just admit that you are up against something bigger than you. No! You were saying... Something in this house tried to kill me. Don't look at me like I'm a suspect. We're old friends. Every murderer is somebody's old friend. No one shall leave until I find if the living have been killed by the dead. You have been hiding here all this time. Who are you talking to? I am Dr. Nandor Fodor. The world's foremost parapsychologist. I am not a skeptic. This is the strangest case I have ever encountered. A family living in a farmhouse claim a talking mongoose lives in their barn. The creature's name is Jeff. What do you think about them? A talking mongoose. The Irving family are peculiar. Did you observe this creature? No. No. I did hear it. We are going to the Isle of Man. I have almost 20 years of research in this field. You're here to see Jeff. Is the creature here? Well, because we can't see him, doesn't mean he ain't here. I see. The daughter is a ventriloquist. Dr. Fodor has a tremendous skepticism. Indeed. This is an inexplicable farce. I'd say the wee rascal's probably watching us right now. Everybody on this island has their Jeff story. Tell me yours. You and I both know. There ain't no Jeff. Can you tell him to come out so we can see him? Is that him there? What is the Irving's motive? They don't strike me as con artists. We hear with our eyes as much as we do our ears. These people are lying! I think he exists. I'm certain of it. Just show yourself! 
I mean you no harm. Please! Jeff! Just show me that you're real! Dr. Vodon, there's a call for you. This from him. Hello? Tomorrow. Tomorrow I shall let you see me. Hear these rare stories. Well, how the impossible happened. Miss Kay Carraway. I feel. Well, I promise to love and be with you forever. This is one of those stories. Holy man. Holy you can do just about anything you set your mind to, Phil Robertson. Help me. But it's the drink. He becomes the devil, son. <laughs> You know that ain't your brother. I ain't gonna preach a man around here. I heard you might be needing one. We're fine. I don't think we are, Phil. I ain't the problem. You're the problem. Get out. It's full. At some point in our lives, we are all going to feel desperately alone. And we realize that You must be one of Kay's friends. I know Phil ain't got no good looking friends. It's my sister. <laughs> well, no, I was just being friendly. Why don't you be friendly in that direction over there? Yeah, okay. You're selling your Saturn rocket? Well, your dad gave you that. I don't want it anymore. Sometimes I get so mad, I just want to strangle the man that did this to us. There is a science to everything. We can't save them. Believe it or not, this was supposed to be a time machine. And now it's a gun that can fire a bullet into the past. All we need is a target. You know that's impossible, right? You forgot the soda again, didn't you? Sophie, baby. <gasps> What's going on? You were killed by a drunk driver. This just doesn't make any sense. I think I got the wrong shift note. Looks right to me. Are there any changes that cannot be tied back to me? It's way more complicated than that. It screws with your memory. We have this power. Why shouldn't we use it? It's too risky. Hey, Riley. We did something that no one has ever done before. But there is no undo button. Second floor, room 216. It's an awful feeling to lose those you love. But if we save her, everything resets. I want to see Riley grow up. I want to see her go to college. I don't want to lose you.
Lex, I need you to stay awake, okay? Where you all been? We've been out camping. What happened to her? We need to get to the hospital. Hospital's no good. It's been overrun. You can trust me. We've seen how quickly uh, it can turn to an overwhelming outbreak. Y'all roomies? Yeah. You okay, son? It's okay to be scared. Roommates? Yeah, Alex, listen to me. You don't understand these people. Sometimes we have to do things we don't want. Things we never dream to keep people safe. It's like you've been saying, room for doubt equals room for death. I don't have anything left to take. God, I'm so sick and tired of you guys just doing whatever you want as if there's no consequences What the wrong. Hey, Clint! Get that on the ground! I'm in command! It's unbearable! I wouldn't dream of jerking you around, John. I love you. I think we're gonna be thick as thieves. Please just let us go home! <laughs> Assume that people won't do the right thing. Experience. Hello, Orson. We try to think about the floor. Of course, naturally. I've gotten used to being one of the leaders in my last job. I was determined to build up the same position at work. That's how the coffee machine works. This is how the blinds work. Whenever anyone looked at me, I fired off a broad smile. A smile disarms your opponent and makes them doubt their own enmity. I stuck to my schedule when I first discovered the room. There was something special about this place. Answer me truthfully. What is this room for? Don't drag me into this. I found a secret room, and when I work in there, I'm able to do anything. A secret room? It's just that most people aren't able to see it. Were you on drugs? What are you doing? What are you doing when you stand like that? What are you talking about? Do you have an idea what that's about? It's very strange. I say, fire him. If he's allowed to stand there like that, then I should be allowed to practice Reiki in the break area. There is no room, Orson. Didn't I tell you it was pointless to try and conduct psychological warfare against me? You have secrets hidden in there that for whatever reason you don't want me to see. But he's mental. Anyone can see that. I did try to warn you. I must insist that you stop going to it. You're different from the other people here. I can tell. Orson? You want to tell me how far in advance all of this got worked out? Was I even one of the original intended victims? What exactly is it that you want? I just want to do my job. They don't care about you. You're a number in a column on a spreadsheet. I could view the world as something ominous, looming. Or I could choose to see the light. I chose to see the light. I've been having the strangest dreams. Rachel, dreams are not reliable analytical material. That's so 20th century. Hi, Rachel. We're delighted to let you know that we've had movement on our wait list. We got a spot at the Whim Center. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I haven't told Alvi yet. Oh, uh, why, Rachel? He wants a natural child. But hold on, you put us on a wait list to have a baby and an egg. No, it's not an egg. It's, it's an egg. Women are reluctant to have children because it's not made convenient. We want them to pursue their careers and dreams. We can't live in the past. I want to have a child with you. Let's do it, Rachel. Really? Yeah. I'm sure you're all very excited. 
parents are raving about it. It is the ultra solution. <laughs> My nephew was born at the womb center, but he doesn't dream. I wouldn't worry about it. What are you talking about? It can't see us. I feel Alvi is able to bond with our child, but I'm not. Maybe I'm just not ready to be a mother. You know, no one's a mother just like that. You become one. Lately, I've been holding on to something. We are considering having a home birth. I'm sorry, it's not possible. I won't raise this child without nature. Congratulations. Oh, no. So exciting, isn't it? I noticed a change in prolactivity. You do have a baby at the womb center, right? Why? What's that? Things are evolving. Your family dynamics are about to undergo tremendous changes. Make sure our baby's not bored in utero. Oh yeah, we don't want any bored babies.